cameras right there. Stop looking at yourself. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl, Karina, and I'm back for another video. Today's video, we are talking men with locks. As you can see, my hubby has started his lock journey, but we're going to get into that in just a moment. If you'd like to hear more about this conversation of him starting his locks and what I think and what he thinks, stay tuned for the video. All right, welcome back, everyone. I am so excited about this video because I get to feature my love, my hubby, none other than Gina. What's good? What's good? What's good, yeah. Before we get started with this video, I want to thank all of my new subscribers. Thank y'all so much for being a part of this channel. You guys mean so much to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And to my OGs, you know what it is, girl. Thank you, girl. Thank you. All right, let's get started. So, as y'all can see, my husband is officially locked. He has started his lock journey, and I'm so proud of him. I want to take some time to let you all get an up close and personal look at his lock. So he's gonna do a little head down for y'all so y'all can see. Look at his babies, y'all. <laughs> he turn around. Yes, I turn around on the other side. As you can see, he is, how far along are you right now? Uh, what are we, three months? You're three months. You're three months locked. How do you feel about your lock journey so far? Tell us tell us how you're feeling. I mean, it's been good. It's nothing. It hasn't, the hair hasn't fully locked yet, so we're still going through just retwists and maintenance on that. So it's been good. It's been good. How do you feel about your hair? Like, do you, about the frizz? Because, you know, when you first start locks, baby locks, it is you know, frizzy, it is itchy. Like, tell us a little bit about from when you first started, did it hurt? You know, all of the details that everybody wants to know about. And he started his locks with cone coils, y'all. He started his locks with cone coils. We have not counted them just yet. So I don't know how many he has at this present moment, but we'll do a part two to this video to give y'all a little bit more of details on how many he has and stuff like that. His parting... It's basically, I guess, um, let me see. Basically, box parting. Box parting. And I haven't counted his locks just yet, but take us back to day one when you first locked your hair up until now. Like each month, what did you experience? Um, it was been basically a lot of itching. Like, because I sweat a lot. So I sweat work, church, things of that nature. And it's just a lot of a lot of itching, a lot of just uh, scratching. So that's the biggest thing. Um, frizziness is there. Um, so it's basically one of those, you have to not rush in to get it retwist, but to go through that process of just, it's going to itch. You're going to want to scratch. You're going to scratch. And then just the frizziness of it all. So it's just something... She prepped me for though, so she let me know in advance that that was gonna be the case, and um, so I was ready for it. But then when you walk through it, it's like okay, there it is. So we were in that process, but every month has been um, again, it's been a retwist. We got us a good loctician that's really good, and so she's really um, she knows what she's doing. Yeah. Um, she'll wash it and get it get it retwist and um and things of that nature. So. And then she also cuts my hair as well. So she does all of that. So it's kind of all working together. So there's no mismanagement of look, style, feel. All of that works together. Not one person doing this, the other one doing that. That can still work. But because it's all in one, it helps out a whole lot. So, but it has been, it has been good. She's been getting on me because I'm like, man, I got to get it reached. She said, nope, 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 nope. I told you. You got to wear it out. So, but it has been good, y'all. And I'm not turning back. So, hmm. I never said I was, and I and I don't plan on turning okay. back. Okay. Now you said something that was so key. You said you've been wanting to retwist more often. Right now, I have you on schedule. Yeah, four weeks. Every four, Every four weeks. weeks. Why do you think that's so important that I keep you on that schedule? 
just because of that, from what you're telling me, just the hairline in and of itself. Wear and tear on the hairline and just just uh, pulling on the hair so much. Um, I don't know if it has to do with just loss of hair, shedding or what, but maybe a mix. But just just that, the wear and tear and the pulling on the hair. Yeah, we don't want we don't want it back. Yeah. Lock start back. Be back here. here. We, mm. we want your hair. We don't want your <laughs> And it's hair. doing, it's not bad because I, I am, I'm not a spring chicken, so I ain't young, but it's my hairline is not I've seen a lot worse. Mm -hmm. I'm put it like that. I've seen a lot worse. So I think that my hairline is maintaining some good strength, mm -hmm. even with the locks. So just making sure that we don't over twist or just do too much to make the line worse than what it, you know. So you, are you be. enjoying your lock journey yeah. so far? Absolutely. It's just a different look for me. Mm -hmm. I've been in the Army, so 22 years, and I haven't had the opportunity to really just have variation of hairstyle. So now I'm exploring. Okay. So now we finna, we finna, you got to turn up. We finna turn up, <laughs> man bun, uh -oh. pull back, color, all that. Wait we a finna, minute, we finna do it all. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So I want to let them look all. at it a, a little bit more again, so y'all can see that he's going with the killmonger look. So his goal is to have his locks grow out just at the top. He doesn't want a full head of locks. He just wants them to grow out at the top, and he's with the Killmonger look. So his growth, you know, men's hair always grows so fast. And he's going to like, in a little while, he's going to like me running my fingers through his lock because I sure enjoy him running his fingers through mine. So as you can see, they're really neat. He just got his retwist yesterday, and it was four weeks. So I'm, I, I am consistent about making him wait four weeks because I'm like, you don't need to be retwisting soon. We can wash in between, but as far as the retwisting, you got to keep it at four to six weeks. So he's doing good. Um, we will come back and do a part two. If you have any questions for him, I want you to list your <laughs> questions at the bottom if you have any questions for him. Because again, he's just growing. He, is, he doesn't even want them real long. What's your goal for your locks? Um, I don't know. I, I just don't want them long. I don't want them in my, like down to my eye length. In my eyes, if if it's long, I would want them pulled back to some degree. I just don't want hair down in my eyes, the length of my face. Like even right now, feeling it on my forehead is gonna get me kind of uncomfortable, just because I'm not used to it. I guess mm -hmm. um, just the feel of hair right there dangling on my forehead is just kind of like getting. I'm getting used to that, so I don't really want them to come down to my eyes. I definitely don't want them all around. I'm not gonna be slinging hair. I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> I ain't do it. For the brothers you. that do it, rock with it. Rock on and all your confidence. It's just not me. So you're going to keep them um, cut to a certain length? Mm -hmm. Or if they start to grow, you're going to kind of keep them pulled back and in a man bun and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. So if it does get that length, I just want to keep it in that type of thing. Because I still want to get my fade out. I still want to do that um, and pull it up. Um, so... That's kind of my that's kind of my feel for it. Nothing against that mm -hmm. at all. It's just my feel, my preference of how I want to kind of rock it. Cool, cool. So if you have any questions for Gino, leave them below. We want to hear your questions. We want to answer your questions, and your questions are going to be in part two. Part two is coming soon. This is part one. Gino started his lock journey. He is three months in the game. Well, in a, a few days, he'll be three months in the game. So. He is excited. I'm excited. It is a new look for me, too. You know, I'm used to his little faux hawk and, you know. That's it. <laughs> and his hair so was, much I, I it was low when we first met. But I'm used to a certain style on him. So I'm getting used to the locks. But y'all know I love locks. I have locks. I'm really trying to encourage my son to lock his hair. But we're going to wait on that. But anyway, please feel free to leave us your comments below on questions you want to ask Gino for part two of this video. Thank you all so much. If you have not already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So, and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a video. As always, I love you so much for watching and we'll see you. Hey, I like that. We'll see you <laughs> we'll in see. the next video. Bye.